An image like no other inspiring decades of research and debate, the Shroud of Turin, that's a piece of history, and it has an ongoing puzzle for scientists. Atlanta News first reporter, Abby Casaurus of Reels, how people right here in Georgia are involved in unraveling this mystery. Guy Powell is a curator of artifacts. He fell into the role. It's either the burial cloth of Jesus Christ or it's not. These samples, photos, and images are from photographer Barry Schwartz. He's one of 33 people given exclusive access to the Shroud of Turin. It's over 14 feet long and three feet wide. In 1978, the international team of experts were given roughly five days to determine how the image was made. Even Barry would say, uh, you know, when I went over there, oh, we'll, we'll be done in a couple hours. We'll prove that it's, you know, it's a fake and whatever. And they then, even after, you know, they had been there 120 hours, they still couldn't figure out whether the, what, what actually made that image. As the official documenting photographer, Schwartz took hundreds of images. The scientists concluded that the image wasn't a paint, dye, or scorch, adding to the mystery. Schwartz signed earlier this year, entrusting people like Powell with his photos and research, creating a foundation and digitizing his papers to make sure all that information was freely available. Schwartz never tried to convince people. He's quoted as saying, I only want to give you the information. As we are now archiving and curating that, we are now doing that really for the next hundred or hundreds and thousand years. Now the group is pushing for more research, another carefully selected team in 2025 and somewhere for the shroud to be shown. When you try and put it into your logical mind, what could have happened? And we have then the, uh, I call it the only witness to that resurrection. Something happened then, something happened that imprinted that image across the shroud. In Brookhaven, I'm Abby Kosoris.